Welcome to Ms. Lovedahl's video on how to learn vocabulary for our 7th grade genetics unit. Learning vocabulary is a huge part of learning science, which some people feel like is learning a new language. Every day you read or hear many new words. You can't possibly learn all these new words. So your first problem is to decide which words to concentrate on. How will you choose which words you need to learn? Here are some suggestions. Learn the words that are important to the subjects you're studying. Get a vocabulary list at the beginning of each new class or at the beginning of the unit. Learn the words that you read or hear again and again and that you want to use. There are tons of ways for you to choose from once you've chosen the words to learn. You have to decide which way works best for you. Here are a few ideas for you to experiment with. Try a couple of them and see which way is most effective for you. Note cards. Use flashcards or note cards. One of the most common ways to learn voca vocabulary is to write or type your own flashcards. When you do this, put the definitions in your own words. Research shows that this is more effective than memorizing a dictionary definition. Good old index cards are wonderful. You can customize them, decorate them, and make each word unique. There are a lot of really good websites out there too. Quizlet and flashcardmachine.com are two websites that let you create your own flashcards and then print them out if you need to. They also can be viewed on smartphones, iPads, tablets, so you can study wherever you are. Text a little, then study your vocabulary. Another really important thing to do is to say the words out loud. Research shows that people are auditory learners. And when you hear the word and you say the word, you're making the most use of your brain. Organize the words. Organize them into groups of smaller in smaller chunks so that they're easier to remember. We do this with things every day. Try this test. Study the following numbers for 10 seconds. Ready? Okay, time's up. Now, write down as many of those numbers as you can remember and in the right order. How well did you do? And what do you think? Would it have helped if you chunked the material? Highway 127, it's a highway in Mountain View. 828 is our area code. 411 for information. And 28602 for our zip code. Chunking is a term from psychology that means that people learn things that are grouped together much better than a random list of words or concepts. You can chunk too. If you have a long list of words to learn, organize them into smaller groups of related words. Even within a similar subject, the words can be reorganized into smaller chunks that will be easier to remember. Draw pictures and create a story out of the words. This helps people remember things a lot. Mnemonic devices, songs, and rhymes are also really good ways for remembering and chunking words. For example, I bet you've seen some of these mnemonic devices which is just a funky way to say a catchphrase or a trick for remembering things. The order of operations, all five great lakes or the planets from the sun to outer space. A lot of us had to learn these. Rhymes and catchphrases like I before E except after C. That's another way that helps us remember rules about the English language that are really helpful. The most important thing is that you do something with your vocabulary words. Research shows that people don't remember things that they don't use and that they don't use often. Start early. Don't wait until the night before the test to start studying our, your words. I know we're all guilty of this, but it's really not the best way. Start studying as soon as you're given the vocabulary list, and then you can review a little bit each, each day. Brain research shows that learning in small chunks is more effective. You'll retain more if you study over a longer period of time.
and practice, practice, practice. Repetition is the key to learning. Find a partner or a helper, ask someone to call the words out, and then you answer with the definition or vice versa. Many people are auditory learners and they remember things best when they hear them. Here's a list of the websites that I mentioned during the, the video. In addition, there's another site called Study Blue and Vocabulary.com that are full of helpful tips and some vocabulary games, so check them out. Are you ready for some genetics vocabulary? Okay, here's the list of everything we need to know for our genetics unit. Let's get started. Now, before you say, and your face looks like this. Remember your strategies. Break that list into chunks. What do you already know? Which ones do you need to learn? Which words go together? Then decide how you want to learn them. Are you going to use an online program like Quizlet or flashcard.com? Are you going to make your own index cards? Are you going to use a foldable? Once you've decided, don't delay. Get started. The rest of this video is a scroll of all of the words and their official dictionary definitions. But remember, put those dictionary definitions into your own words. It'll be much more effective. Good luck!